friends, welcome to the lovely Stranger Tarot. Before we begin this reading, I have a huge announcement to make. Um, this channel will be celebrating its third anniversary this June. And I was thinking, I want to celebrate with you, with my subscribers, okay? So I will give away three private free readings. <laughs> Uh, two mini readings and one regular reading and um, yeah you have the chance to win this um, of course you need to be subscriber of my channel and you have to leave a comment that you want to uh, win one of the f uh, free readings and um, yeah it will be like you have the chance four times I will do four readings in June and you can maximize your chances when you go and watch every video and uh, leave a comment, okay? So you have four chances, but please don't do more than one underneath one video because otherwise I have to uh, disqualify you, okay? Everything what you need to know will be in the description box also. And I will announce the winners on the 1st of July on my community tab. So please, um, you know, have to click the notifying bell so you get everything that I do. Okay, without further ado, let's start the reading. Today's reading will be about what your marriage will look like. We will take a deep look into your marriage, um, the roles of you both and the overall energies. Okay, so I have four options for you. Group number one is the pink agate. Group number two is the red jasper. Group number three is the rose quartz. And number four is the green agate. So if you need more time, please pause the video here and I will see you at your pile. Hi, group number one. Let's take a look what your marriage will look like. Okay, so we start with the romance angels because I want to have like a, yeah, like a timeline almost, okay? So let's see what this is all about. So first card we have already the last, uh, sorry, the past life relationship. So you will marry definitely your soulmate, okay? So um, you know each other, whether you know each other from your childhood, that could be that this person is a childhood friend, but it could also be that this really is a soulmate you have a contract with from an earlier life and from a past life. And um, now you are fulfilling your contract with um, marrying this person, okay? You have known each other before, so yeah, you will um, maybe have spent um, childhood together or maybe school, you know them from school, if you know them from this lifetime. Okay, so um, you will be um, in separation for a while. That might be um, what I just said so that you know this person from school, okay? Or from your childhood, kindergarten, whatever you have in your country. I mean, I know, hello, I have a lot of um, Americans and I have a lot of Indians watching. So um, I don't know your school system in detail. So um, whatever you have, apply it to your, um, your uh, life story, okay? So you will be in separation with this person. That could be like what I just said, you were in school together, maybe university even, and then you separate because maybe you were just friends or just acquaintances. And then you will come together, obviously, because you have to marry that person, right? So one more card, like what will happen after the separation? Oh, okay, so you will start flirting after the separation. It might be that um, you flirted already when you were younger, but um, after your separation, you will start flirting again new. It, it really feels fresh and new. And um, so it's, pr it's um, probable that you uh, were not flirting when you met each other before, okay? So this could be like, for example, um, the brother of a friend 
or a friend of your brother <laughs> something like this because I really feel that you were not um, really in your friend circle you have known each other before and you knew each other like from name and you knew each other from you know you were saying hi but it's not that you were like really close I don't get that here okay so let's see what is the purpose of this marriage okay so it's especially we have the past life relationship so this marriage really serves a higher purpose okay yeah fulfill a contract but especially soulmates they have the mission to help each other out sometimes just to grow so um you know that soulmates can be friends only right so um yeah you will help your soul grow you help each other so what is the purpose of this no this is not the right one i want this one <laughs> yeah what is the purpose this is why nothing came out because i was shuffling the wrong cards what is the purpose of this light and love oh my gosh that's very beautiful so you have light and love your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world yeah you will bring light and healing towards each other okay so this is your purpose this is why you made a contract um, in this uh, or in an earlier lifetime in a past life relation and um, you said okay you know I know that you will need healing in your next life or in in you know in 10 lives or whatever and um, you made the contract that you will heal each other okay that's very very beautiful author okay so I feel that you both rewrite your your um your story okay so when you meet each other again because i said like i said you already met each other probably i mean of course it might be that you never have met again but we have the separation so i really feel that you probably have met your person in your early years your childhood or teen years and um, I really feel like when you meet each other then your story will take a really really different direction than you have thought it would be maybe um, you went to school to become a lawyer and this is just an example of course but you you went to school um, to become a lawyer and um, then you meet this person and then you will be like working um, in a non-profit organization with your husband or wife okay so it might be that you really turn your story around 180 degree because um, when you come together then there is so much love and so much light that it might be that you really ask yourself if you want to um, walk the path that you have walked on until then okay so i hope i made myself clear um, okay now i want to have the overall feel of this beautiful relationship it really feels already very very beautiful the overall feel of this relationship the overall feel of this marriage yeah so we have collect empathy gentleness insights what did i tell you there will be so much love there will so be so much empathy and uh, this is how you heal each other right so um you have so much empathy for each other oh my gosh it's getting better and better you have so much empathy for each other so um you know you will heal all your anxieties all your um, you will heal it yourself but you help each other okay you will come together and um, you know everyone has issues in life that's totally normal and you know don't let 
the spiritual community tell otherwise everyone has issues in their life because we are here to learn from these okay so and we all have issues you will have issues every person for themselves okay and you will heal each other you will come together and you will show the other person how to heal just with your presence, just with your empathy and your gentleness. And this is very beautiful. And the next card, oh my gosh, it's so good. I already love your reading. Like this is it's so nice. So we have she who creates creativity, originality, spontane spontaneity. Wow. So first of all, I feel you will have children with this person because of the creativity. Um, if you don't want to have children, then you will um, work with your person. Like I said, I had this um, vision of um, working together for a nonprofit organization. It could be that it's something like this, that you travel the world, that you help people, like that you help people help themselves, okay? That you go to, I don't know, maybe to, to poor countries or to poor areas in your country, and that you help people help themselves, to show them how to grow something or to show them how to build... Um, I don't know, stru uh, uh, structures, like infrastructure or something like this, because I really feel like you have a mission together here, okay? So it could be that your ch when you have children, or if you have children, that this child really means something to the world. Like that this will be a huge leader in some capacity, um, or it will be that your work together will like have a huge impact uh, maybe global but um, definitely in a community okay so and yeah you will have like i think you are uh, very much on the same level intellectually so you have to a lot to talk you stimulate um stimulate each other with um all your talks you know you um <laughs> sorry <laughs> you stimulate each other with your talks and um, with your thoughts like this is a really really fruitful um, relationship group number one mm. I mean I'm very very um, happy for you and I'm really excited for all the other uh, for all the other readings here so let me change this okay like, yeah, what is your effect on the world? I mean, I already said that, but I feel that, like, the effect on your surroundings. It doesn't have to be, like, the world world. It can be, but it doesn't have to. But, like, what will um, your marriage, what effect will your marriage have on your community? Okay? On the outer world, just, like, say. Break the chain. Oh, my gosh. Like, what I said ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future oh my gosh like what is happening like all these coincidences i told you you will rewrite your future okay so i feel you will not even rewrite your own future you will rewrite the future of your whole community okay like i said maybe this is your community where you live like where you will live together or you will go somewhere and help these people help themselves like oh my gosh this i i have chills really literally i have chills oh my gosh oh my gosh like, oh my gosh Please let me know, like, oh, please let me know who you are. I want to know you. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being, creating, oh my gosh. Like, I, I tell you, you, you have a big destiny. You and your partner, you will have a big destiny in this world. Maybe not worldwide, it could be because it's, it feels so big to me. Oh, there is a storm, I think, <laughs> outside, uh, yeah, coming. But maybe you you are the person, or you are the, the couple that really walks through the storm and changes reality. This is amazing, group number one. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't expect that, really. I didn't expect that. Whew. 
I got chills. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so uh, give me one more thing about group number one's marriage. I mean, I know. Ooh. Like, I will go into more detail with the next step, but this is the overall... Oh my gosh, like, wow. Ooh, I really have chills group number one. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, time to go. I really feel that you will move um, whether into a different part of the world with your partner or like in a different area of your country, okay? Oh, loyal heart. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, you will be you will be really the eye of the storm because you have each other. You will be so close like you against the world. You two against the world. Like oh my gosh, like ugh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, I have to cut here quickly because the battery is empty. <laughs> so group number 1, like this is really amazing. I didn't expect that. I tell you, I didn't. Okay, now I will ask the tarot cards um, for your roles within your relationship, okay? So um, what role, and I don't mean like, oh, one will work and the other will be with children, that could be come up, but um, it's more like an energetic role, okay? So let's see, like the first person, and you can take it how it resonates with you. If you feel like, um, Person one is more like you and of course they could mirror each other, right? Because soulmates and I really feel your person is really a high level soulmate. Um, you can mirror each other. Okay, so when you meet this person again, then you will, when you start talking and when you start flirting, then you will see, oh my gosh, like, okay, we were so far apart, but our lives were very very similar actually okay so we went through a lot of similar things okay group number one what will be um sorry what will person number one's role be in this marriage person number one's role in this marriage three of wands okay so one will be um the innovator one will be the person who pushes the other to leave um, old paths so we have the ten of so uh, ten of swords yeah so um, this person feels like um, a person who knows the pain so um, it could be that one person has seen a lot of pain in the world and is probably very sensitive and they can't handle pain very well they are very fair and just and humanitarian so they want to end the pain in the world and this is what they want to do and we have the four of cups they want to change the world okay they want to take um injustice um as given okay they see injustice and they want to change it like very very um yeah just and loyal person could be a sagittarius um heavy uh, Sagittarius in their chart. So we have the five of swords. I feel they really had a lot of arguments in their lives. Um, so they are, um, yeah, how do you, do you say that in English? Like they, um, they don't like to argue, but they're not afraid. They don't back down in arguments. And um, I mean, that could be a hard pill to swallow when you marry him or her. But um, like one person is very hard to back down. I feel they're still sensible. So they are not um, like moody or something. But I feel when they believe in something, they are not easy to back down. Okay. So and then we have the wheel and judgment. Oh my gosh, yeah. This person, yeah, like I said, this person wants to travel. This person, they could be a Libra also. Um, like this person will not take injustice. And I feel this is what they, um, what they had 
um, like what they went through, you know, um, or maybe their family, something what they know from first-hand experience. And I feel they worked their way up. It might be that they come from, um, like from poor circumstances, but they work their way up while um, they go to school, you know, they, um, they do a degree and they work their way up. So now they saw firsthand what injustice did to them, to their family, and they won't take it, okay? They won't take it anymore. They will um, support their family also and um, they will travel the world or at least travel the country with you with the uh, with the wheel here they want to turn the wheel around okay they don't want to stand for injustice could be that they are lawyers so um, that they study um, law um, and they want to change they want, want to make a significant change in the world they want to make the world a better place okay so that could be you, um, if you recognize yourself in this, or maybe the other person. We ask now for person two, what is their role in this relationship? Okay, <laughs> you are the, fa uh, you are, they are the family person. So um, if you could not um, see yourself in person number one, then probably you are person number two and uh, you are the family person you want to have a family um, even though you might not um, or I mean it could also be them this person doesn't maybe want to have children but they want to have a family they want to have a safe haven they want to they have family I mean they want to build a family with the existing family so with their parents your parents you know um, but it's very probable that they want to have children okay so more about person number two king of pentacles i would read them upright um because yeah so um the king of because i want to <laughs> um king of pentacles um of course like this person is very abundant very nurturing can be wealthy so it could be that you maybe uh, come from like different um, like classes is that a thing like different classes that one person was born into wealth and the other person had to work their way up and um, it could also be that um, this person is in general very generous okay maybe they don't have that much but they have a lot in friends they have a lot in um you know in love so it doesn't have to be monetary but it's probable okay and um the king of pentacles is very grounded and a very warm person so uh, I feel like one person is more of a thinker and the other person is more of a grounded, um, like a feeler. <laughs> like they feel the things more, they are grounded in reality and the other person thinks a lot. We have, uh, because we have all these swords here. Group, uh, person number two, what will be their role in the marriage? yeah the sun oh my gosh yeah <laughs> so yeah one person will be just like um i feel like person number one is more like an introvert they want to um think a lot they want to they they are humanitarian so they like people but i feel they need a lot of time um secluded and thinking brooding maybe sometimes and developing um, solutions okay and person number two is the exact opposite it's so funny because like they are so warm and inviting and i feel like they have a lot of friends and they uh, maybe have a, a huge family also oh and now the cards fly out Okay, and we have um, the page of rods. So yeah, uh, person number two also wants to travel. So I feel this is where um, they meet in the, um, 
yeah, in their life purpose, okay? Because um, I feel uh, person number two is very um, adventurous and they are very open and very down to everything. Hi. Hi. My cat says hi. <laughs> Kazi says hi. And um, so they are very open to change the world and they are probably like group number two is probably very spontaneous okay they are the spontaneous people then we have the magician yeah i mean um this person like person number two also is very um educated i feel very well educated um, I feel both went to university, they are very well educated, but um, yeah, the magician, so group number, uh, person number two, um, got every tool already from their upbringing, okay? So um, they are used to um, make everything work for themselves because their family had probably money or connections, so they could maybe go to the best university they could um, you know they could study what they wanted they could um, work what they wanted because uh, you know maybe the family had connections so they had um, you know they they could work in the best locations and stuff so I really feel and but this is a, a good thing okay this is a good thing because this person has the connections to really make the difference here okay and these people coming together the one that wants to change the world and the other one who has the resource is what makes this couple like really great okay one last card for the person number two yeah okay so yeah i feel this person um also wants to have children like i said um and i feel like this person like person number two uh, knows first that uh, person number one is their soulmate okay i feel they are also the person who um remembers the other um, so person number one maybe even uh, doesn't remember the person number two, okay? But I feel like this might be, doesn't have to be, but I feel like person number two is the feminine part because um, I feel like the feminine part is a little younger and remembers the other person because they looked up to them a little or maybe had a crush already when they uh, were younger, okay? So um, this could be the case. And uh, now for the last cards, okay? I want to see, um, yeah, what, what they feel, what you're feeling for each other, okay? I will pull three cards, okay? I will pull one for person number one, I will pull one for person two, and one for both. So person number one, what are they feeling for person number two? Inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take a pro appropriate action without delay yeah i feel like person number one um is the yeah how do i say the the initiator okay so um person number one will always push person number two to be the best okay so um I mean, I, I, that's, that's maybe a little mean, but I feel that person number two sometimes is a little lazy, okay? But uh, person number one pushes person number two like, okay, you can't do that, okay? Like, just try and person number two is like, okay. And then they try and they, they will get the position or whatever they want because um, person number one is really the initiator. initiator. <laughs> initiator here okay person number two what is person number two feeling for person number one
Yeah. Diana, focused intentions. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and action focused on your target and you will make your mark. Like just what I said, just what I said. Like person number two will crush on person number one first and they will be the person actually who wins number one over. I feel that person number one is more like um, the calcul calculated type, like very mental and are lost in thoughts and um, yeah person number two is the more feely part and person number two wants person number one and they will make it happen okay so yeah so they are the um, almost like the empress they attract person number one very empressy feel by the way really for uh, group number two okay so what like what will be the mutual feeling between person number one and person number two? The mutual feeling between person one and person two. Oh, again, compassion. Oh, this is so cute. We have Quan Yin, compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. This is just like confirmation. You will be, you heal each other with your softness, with your understanding towards each other. And I feel this is like the most important thing within your marriage that you have so much compassion and so much love for each other. And I really, really love your reading, group number one. Really much so. And I have to close your reading here. And uh, please don't forget to comment because, uh, you, you know, if you don't listen to uh, the intro, then I have to tell you that I do um, like, yeah, a, celeb a celebration with you. I will give away three free readings. Read the description box. Everything will be in there or go back to the beginning and listen. And uh, yeah, I hope you... Um, I will see you again very soon in the next video. Bye! Hi group number two. I hope you have a beautiful day today. Um, if you didn't listen to the intro, I have a giveaway going on right now. The channel is going to be three years this month and I wanted to give back something to you and uh, I will give away three free readings. <laughs> three free readings. And uh, if you want to know more, then go into the description box or go back to the beginning where I tell you everything. Otherwise, we will start now with your uh, yeah, with your reading. First, I want to see how you two will come together. So, um, just an overview. How you two will get together. Wedding. Right away, wedding. Okay. <clears throat> this could mean that... Um, yeah, that you meet at a wedding, someone else's wedding, really, literally. Um, it could be that, um, yeah, it could be, of course, an arranged marriage, um, but it could be that you meet at a wedding party, you know, um, everyone is in a very good mood, and then you meet a lot. I think a lot of people meet at weddings. <laughs> so, how will you get together? Religious factors, okay, so maybe um, you have the same religion and you talk like, um, yeah, you start talking about your religious beliefs um, or it could be that you have totally opposite uh, religions. What also could be very interesting, you also could start talking about this when you meet, like let's say one is Buddhist, the other one is Hindu or Christian, and then you start talking about and you see like, oh, you know, this is very different, very interesting how they see that. And, um, you know, then the other person I think is Buddhism. Yeah, Buddhism is, <laughs> is a religion. Um, and the other one is like, oh, yeah, very interesting. That's very similar to us, you know, like I feel that could be... Um, like a topic, what you, uh, where you meet, you know, where you talk, um, where you find similar interest or um, a topic you can talk about. One more card, please. 
power group to get together. Oh, okay. Romantic feelings. What turned healing family issues? So maybe you are also, um, you could know each other from your families, okay? And then we have romantic feelings. Okay, yeah. I feel like um, <clears throat> your feelings will grow very, very fast. Okay, because I feel you meet at a wedding. It could be also a different um, party situation, you know, like a get together. It could also be a birthday um, or like a family, um, like a family party. Okay, so maybe um, like anniversaries, wedding anniversaries, something like this. It could be that you are like, that the other person is a mutual friend for your family or um, like a family friend, something like this, the son of family friends. And, um, but you will really instantly have connection. I feel um, even though you might have different religions, you will um, be very interested in each other, not only um, physical, but really you will hit it off right away. You will talk. You will talk like the whole, um, the whole wedding or the whole birthday party or whatever you will talk you you are inseparable from the um, from the beginning actually and you develop romantic feelings very very early and then yeah rest is history like you say you know and uh, I really feel that um, that your family is really like astonished like how you meet and then it's like you never um, were separated. It's like you always knew each other, just like that. Okay, so I will ask now, what is the purpose of this connection? Okay, like group number one was so beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. What is the, person, uh, the purpose of this connection from group number four? Jesus Christ, group number two. Group number two, what is the pur purpose of this connection? We have let go. Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. I feel that you show each other um, how to walk away from situation. I mean, it could literally be that if you have different religions that one of you has to leave the or will leave the religion religion they had earlier behind okay so let's just say one is christian the other one is hindu okay so um you meet each other you talk about religion and then one of you will say oh you know what like your religion is so it's like so much close to my heart it touches my heart so much i want to change my religion that could really be the case um, especially after uh, or when you want to marry that uh, one turns to the other religion that could be the case it could also be that um Maybe you are a little bit stubborn, <laughs> not necessarily only you, but also your partner. And in this connection, you both learn how to let go of resentment. It's um, how you let go of um, harsh feelings. It's just because um, yeah, you show each other how it could be, okay? So, and then we have um, three cards. <laughs> They all fall down. Okay, so we have leadership, crystals, and strength. So um, I feel that this relationship might be um, demanding. Okay, so I feel because um, especially if you have different religions and re different backgrounds. It doesn't have to be religious backgrounds, but different backgrounds, okay? You're maybe not from the same country. You, do, you have different cultures, like, yeah, different backgrounds. And I feel this relationship will be demanding. That's not a bad thing, okay? But I really feel that you have to... Um, 
yeah you have to cut your edges um, how do you say that you um, you know when you have pebbles and um, they rub against each other and then they get really round and this is like the purpose of your relationship so um, it will get rid of the harsh edges of yours it sounds really bad but it's actually a good thing it's demanding because you probably have to adjust to each other okay so there will be oftentimes small conflicts because you just don't know better okay so you have to find um, you have to find compromise for a lot of small things because you come from different backgrounds and in your family it was done differently than it was done in their family okay you know what I mean but this relationship will really uh, form like you I mean we have crystals it's almost like you make a diamond out of coal okay and a diamond you know needs pressure there will be some kind of pressure there will be some uh, kind of uh, rubbing against each other but you will learn strength in that relationship you will become so um, well adjusted you will become leaders okay because you both learn when to compromise when to stay strong when you know this is just like um, yeah you have to adjust uh, especially in the beginning phases when you are married very early then you have to adjust it will <clears throat> it will come out very beautifully you will come out of this relationship like you know after a while you will be diamonds because you know pressure formed you you formed each other this is very very beautiful and um, yeah very 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 beautiful and uh, I just felt like okay you will have children and they will look at you and they think they when they talk about you it's like you know I grew up there were a lot of fights but my parents adore each other I feel there is like adoring you know you look at each other with love in your eyes this is just a this was channeled it's not in the cards here okay so let me think the overall um, I want to see the overall feeling of the relationship so what is the main uh, feeling in this relationship in this marriage the main feeling the overall feeling oh, okay. we have she <laughs> she who persists <laughs> these readings are so oh my gosh like uh this is so cool like um yeah we have jocelyn perspective defiant persistent what did i just say like you have to learn how to um adjust to each other and you will be very strong from it you learn when to uh when to compromise but you also learn when to stay strong because uh you know yeah sometimes it's very good to compromise sometimes it's just good when one says okay you know ju let's just do it like this we will never ever find a common ground okay so i really feel <laughs> that this is the purpose maybe you both are very um yeah maybe stubborn or um maybe you are not so um you, you do, doesn't have so much will, uh, sorry <laughs> why can't I say the word willpower you don't have that much willpower when you meet I also feel you meet while relatively young so I feel um, you might meet in your early 20s or something it's uh, if you are over 23 24 don't matter um, you will um, meet while at least feel very young I feel like um, you might be a little bit immature both both of you not only you but both of you and you will grow up yes that's the right word you will grow up together you will help each other grow up okay yeah and then we have Volaris 
she who flies dare do reach okay so um, this will also help you um, to grow up because I feel or it could be that um, your um, relationship will also have some opposition from the outside because you come from different backgrounds and unfortunately this is still the case when um you know when a couple is from different races or from different religions then um you know the family might be in opposition to that or the community um the church or whatever you know and i feel um you might adjust to each other but you also form a sh like um a very very strong bond to each other because it's you against the world it's you against your opponents and this is what makes you very strong and uh, I feel you can do everything you want I feel when you meet you are very romantic and more soft and in your later years you spend together like after 10 20 years like you have built everything that you want you have a house you have your family you are very settled in your community so don't um, don't be disheartened in the beginning, okay? Because I really feel it will just let you grow so much, so much, okay? So don't, don't worry, everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, so I mean now we ask, um, what is the influence that your, reli uh, your religion, sorry I was reading <laughs> religious factors, that your um, connection has on the outside world okay fall out mm -hmm. break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future group number one had the same card but with you I really feel this is more about um, you know softening um, adversity okay because um, it's almost like um, I just had uh, in my head like the picture of West Side Story, you know, like one, uh, like the girl I think is Puerto Rican and he is uh, American and this is almost like this feeling, you bring two cultures together, okay, you break the chain, like there is adversity but you heal that, okay. So very, very nice. I feel like this, re I get chills again. Like I had chills in group number one. I get chills, chills. Because I feel like, wow, like the marriages that form in these readings, they are very important for the world. Then we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. Like I said, I really feel you two have a huge bond like uncrushable bond with each other I feel you are really a safe haven towards each other especially when there is adversity um, from the outside then you will hold each other you will lift each other up it's not like I really feel like when you argue with each other it's more about the small things but like I said your children will talk about your grandchildren, maybe even grand grandchildren will talk about you with so much love. Like um, they will talk, I, I get chills, I get a little bit emotional. They will talk about you like, uh, do you know, like, you know, grandma and grandpa, they looked each other like they looked at each other like newlyweds when they were 80 you know <laughs> like they held hands until they died you know something like this it's so a uh, warm such a warm and such a nice feeling and cozy very very homely and very very beautiful really so um i will do this now okay like more things about this relationship What more things do we need to know about this relationship? And uh, afterwards, I will go and uh, lay the tarot cards for each person, okay? Building blocks, yeah. Like I said, I really feel you work together and this is how you build your life very beautifully, okay? Like I said, you will have a house, you will have your children, you will have um, like material things 
will be looking really really good okay because you build it together you um, and you build your family very beautifully I feel your family will also be like a safe haven everybody love, loves each other they like yeah hold together like glue okay one more card one last card new life oh my gosh yeah I feel like you will create a whole new life very very different from uh, other people around you from your community but you will be um, a staple a staple of your community especially in uh, later years when you are married for a few years like you will grow like it's almost like the community grows around you that's sounds weird and it's a little bit weird but it's almost really sound like you will be like what uh, like a, a staple of your town of your um of your area of your village and um like it changes with you it really changes with you okay so i will ask now for each person what is their role within that marriage okay so you can see if you find yourself in group uh, in sorry in group <laughs> in person number one or in person number two and um, then we will see okay person number one what is their role within their marriage person number one we have the ace of swords and the chariot okay I feel one is um, a very very sensible person okay um, this person knows what to say how to pick you up or you know how to pick them up um, I really feel that um, they are very grounded group uh, person number one is very very grounded and has a really good head on their shoulder so um, if something is happening especially when adversity happens like they will stay calm they will not um, yeah they will not uh, rage or anything it's just like you know if the other person is upset they will just be like a rock for the other person okay they will just say okay um, you know like they they are um they don't know it they don't know us okay please don't be upset because these people they talk about us like they don't know us and um we have each other everything is fine and you really don't have to be upset okay and they will uh calm the other person down we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Just like I said, very grounded, earthly person. Could be an earth sign, um, doesn't have to, but has a very earthly energy. So they um, they are very calm and slow, but not slow and, and stupid, but um, they are very, um, like they start things and they do it slow but thoroughly okay so um they will build their career it's like really like it's this feeling of building a whole life throughout the years without hesitating just very slowly building 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 and this i feel is the person who is the initiator of this I will read them uh, not in reverse today um, now we have the high priestess so this person and the six of cups so I feel this person is really really um, intuitive okay I really feel oh, they could also be uh, cancer of course yeah they could be cancer or have um, significant cancer in their chart and um, like they are very intuitive they feel deeply but they also have this um, sensibility to them okay so um, I feel they take it to heart too but they still remind themselves like if something happens they remind themselves like just what I said they don't know uh, they don't know us 
you know, we will get through that. I know it. And I really feel they have this quiet intuition. They don't talk that much about their intuition, but they do the right thing without, um, almost like the fool. They, um, they have probably a lot of trust in God or whatever they believe in. And so they are, um, yeah, like a sleepwalker, uh, you know, reaching their goal without failing, okay? And I really feel that they see you as their soulmate. So um, it might be that this person saw you and fell in love with you or you fell in love with them. Is that right? No, so they, they fell in love with the other person. It could be you. Um, I could describe you. So um, this person was probably the first to fall in love with the other one. This was what, what I wanted to say. I'm sorry, it's a shadow period of Mercury retrograde and this is the worst for me. You know, I was born in Mercury retrograde and I feel Mercury retrograde is fine, but the shadow period is the worst. I'm so sorry about that. So one more card for person one. One more card, thank you. We have the three of cups. Okay, they <laughs> they are party animals, okay? They like to drink sometimes, they like to party, they like to dance. They could be Greece. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> that was channeled. I just saw like somebody dance the souflaki. I think it's called souflaki, or is that the food? I'm sorry, oh, I'm so sorry, Greece. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think it's no so flaky is something to eat or is this I have to I think I, I uh, take a look wait sitaki oh my god so flaky is food I'm so sorry Greece people oh my gosh it's sitaki yeah I just saw someone dance sitaki yeah I'm so, so I'm so sorry Greece people oh please forgive me oh my gosh I'm so sorry okay sitaki I just saw someone see uh, I just saw someone dance sirtaki and um, when I saw like the three of chalices some older man but it could be still like that uh, you know just that image sorry um, and um, yeah they they really like to party they love to have their family around them and they really love to get together with the family they love to dance they love to eat, they love to maybe drink sometimes, like they really, really social. They're very social, okay? So let's take a look at person number two. What is their role in that marriage, okay? Oh my gosh. We have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Oh, okay. So um, I feel this person is really attractive. Like person number two has a lot of admirers. And um, again, I get like person one is more like the masculine energy and two is more like the feminine, but it doesn't have to be that way, okay? But I just feel it. Um, it feels like um, person number two has, when they are young, like a lot of admirers, okay? And um, they are probably the person who leaves their family. I mean, traditionally, this is still the female who does that, um, you know, leaves their family of birth to move in with their husband. Still is that way. So this is why I really feel yeah, and maybe this person is also the person who changes religion. We had that. Um, but again, we have a very, very um, sensible person. I feel you are similar in that way, that um, you are very uh, sensible, that you are, um, I feel you, uh, you can do well with money. I mean, you, it doesn't have to be you. So the person too, can handle money very well. They don't overspend. They make a plan and then, you know, 
they uh, do the finances of the family. They also are very, uh, not very generous, but they are generous. So they would never um, let somebody out in the cold. They would invite them, you know, for dinner or to stay over. But still, they are not over generous, okay, overly generous. They will always um, keep money to themselves because, of course, we need money for ourselves too, okay? Yeah, we have the Queen of Rods. This, like I said, this person is really, really attractive. We have the Queen of Rods. This is the most attractive queen in my eyes, okay, because she has this uh, confidence this um, you know she will not take anything uh, less than she deserves and um, I really feel that uh, person one has to fight for person two because uh, like I said person two has a lot of admirers but person two will pick number one because they really think person one is the best for them okay so that is a really good thing, a really good thing and a stable thing. I really feel that person two has this um, royal air about them, very like good posture. So um, yeah, we have the eight of pentacles again. They also really, really work hard, okay? So I really feel this is also something that you have in common. You both work hard, okay? I mean, a person number one has the um, the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, um, the, the camera just stopped. I don't know where it stopped, okay? So um, I think I start again with the Queen of Rods. Um, so yeah, again, very, very attractive, very... Um, very uh, self-insured and um, yeah they have this confidence right the queen of rods has this confidence and they will only pick the best they picked person number one that's really good and um, person number two is also a hard worker just like person one right so they are both hard workers and this is why i got this feeling of building this beautiful life together because you both work hard for your goals and you will reach them right so one more card please for person number one thank you sorry person number two. Oh my gosh you also have the high priestess so i feel you are destined you were destined, really, because you are, I feel you could have been like siblings in a, in, in a past life or something, if you believe in that, um, because you have this really, um, yeah, this understanding without words, you have, um, you, you, when you meet, you have the feeling that you have known each other for a long time. And I really feel that you know each other from a past life. Um, but you're both very practical people. Even though you have a very good intuition, I feel you have both very, very practical skills also. And um, yeah, <clears throat> like you really understand each other. It's, with a, it's like magic, really, okay? So for the last cards, I will ask one card for person one, one card person two, and one for each other. Like, what does person one feel for person two? Okay. What does person one feel for person two? What does person one feel for person two? What does person one feel for person two? Oh. We have Diana, focused intentions. Like I said, um, person one had an eye on person two first, okay? So um, they want person one very badly and they win them over because they show them that they are really the best for person two, okay? 
And what does person two feel for person one? Oh, Nematona, sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Okay, yeah, I feel um, person two really feels that um, the meeting with person one is divinely guided. So um, it's like instant recognition. Really, it's like um, when you meet each other, it's just like instant, I know you. I feel, I really feel that, that you will have that. And now the mutual feelings for each other, please. One card. Oh, we have a lot, but I just said only one card, so. <laughs> The mutual feelings. Oh, there is a lot of passion here. Group number uh, two, the, the sex will be awesome. This is not an 18 plus reading, but I just dropped that, okay? You have a lot of passion for, uh, for each other. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? Yes, I feel you are each other's heart's true desire. You get to know each other and it's just like instant, like we belong together. We, um, we will stay together and... Um, yeah, what should I say? This is very beautiful. Group number two. Thank you for watching this long video with me. And uh, don't forget um, the giveaway. And uh, yeah, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, group number three. How are you today? I hope you're very good. If you missed the intro, I will do a giveaway this month um, because this channel is three years old this month and I want to celebrate with you. If you want to know more, then you can read the description box or you can go back and watch the intro and I will tell most of it. Um, of course, you have to be over 18, so... Um, but this is in the description box too. <laughs> but let's see, um, without further ado, let's jump into your reading and see what um, your marriage will be like. Oh, I just uh, used some hand cream, so they're a little bit slippery. So how, I first ask, how will you get together? You two. You and your partner, your spouse. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So this could be that um, you meet them through another relationship, okay? Because, um, yeah, of course, the beginning you cannot uh, <laughs> give the relationship a chance if there is none. But it could be that um, this might be a friend of your boyfriend or your girlfriend or um, maybe the cousin, the sister, who knows. But um, it could be that this or you could be a friend of, um, you know, a girlfriend or a boyfriend of someone or an acquaintance. Of course, there's the bro code, same for girls, but um, if you are just an acquaintance, I feel that's not the same. So how will you get together? How will you and your spouse get together? We have express your love and unrequited love. I think that's going like this. Because I feel like, um, yeah, there is unrequited love with the relationship you are in at the time when you meet or um, with the partner, your partner and their then partner, if you know what I mean. So their ex-partner. I feel, um, yeah, this will, um, you know, go separate ways and then they can express the love for you and you can express their, your love for them. But um, yeah, there will be a split up before you get together, okay? Maybe you are the reason why, um, yeah, 
they split or maybe um, this other person like your spouse is the reason you will split with your partner okay um, that could be the reason but the split will uh, be in between you will express your love for each other okay so um, let's see what the purpose of this reading is it's not this reading I just said like uh, the shadow period right now um, is worse than Mercury retrograde for me because I was born in Mercury retrograde I can handle that but the shadow period the adjusting period it's always horrible so um, yeah the purpose of this marriage what's this purpose of this marriage what's the purpose of this marriage we have justice. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So justice could be that um, there is justice for one of you. So it could be that one of you or both um, experienced um, toxic relationships or injustice in relationships and that you will get together with this person is justice. Or it could be that you will bring some justice into the world in some way shape or form so protected you are safe and supported while you change your career so yes it could be that you bring justice to people and protect them um, you could uh, be lawyers and you could um, do like free um, service for um, poor people um, or um, you could um, do like a security service or something like this um, so it could go both ways and you are also very protected you feel very protected in that relationship okay so um, sorry I interrupted and now I'm all over the place um, let's see <laughs> let's see what the overall feeling in this relationship is the overall feeling in this relationship in this marriage we have she, she who grants wishes wish desire hope oh yes I mean this um, plays in with the justice so I really feel that you wish for each other okay um, maybe this is like this situation ship here with the unrequited love so um, maybe you cannot get together right away just like I said I mean if there is another um, relationship um, in the background then of course you cannot come together right away but I feel um, soon after you uh, meet each other you want to be with each other okay and you miss each other you desire each other very much so and when you finally get together this is your wish fulfillment and then we have valencia resolute implacable determined <laughs> yeah i mean i feel like um this relationship needs some determination okay because of course like um, when you are in a relationship or they are in a relationship um, yeah that's sometimes really hard to um, yeah to break because you know there are feelings involved um, nobody wants to hurt another person so I feel like it's really um, yeah determination is really um, needed and also it might be some adversity from the outside of course because um, yeah when you are the reason of a split up I mean you know you cannot keep somebody that doesn't love you right but I mean from uh, from the outside it might look that one of you is the reason of the split up and you know maybe it needs some yeah some determination some uh, resolute behavior maybe to tell someone off like okay you don't know your uh, my situation please um, show some respect to me you know like uh, I didn't do anything wrong and uh, please let me be right so um, yeah exactly <laughs> please spirit show the impact 
on the outer world of this relationship. So this could be like the literally worldly, but it could also be in your community. We have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Yeah, I feel um, this uh, this relationship is uh, pretty much about boundaries towards the outside. Um, it's probably relatively hard for each other to get together and especially <clears throat> with adversity. I mean, look at this. It looks like all the people, like all the hands or the fingers show towards her, right? And um, and maybe you really have to um, establish firm boundaries because other people want to talk, um, you know, like to want to have to say something about you, your partner, this relationship. And you have to really um, establish firm boundaries with others, okay? I think it didn't drink enough. Today it's very warm. I didn't drink well. Maybe you need to drink something now. <laughs> and then we have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay, so um, yeah, I feel um, your connection is also divinely guided, um, but it will be hard. I, I don't want to lie and uh, you know probably that I don't sugarcoat and um, yes you are each other's wish fulfillment but it will be probably pretty hard um, to establish that relationship in your surroundings. I'm sorry it's very loud today. Um, because, uh, like I said, there will be, you know, people always have to say something. You have, really, you have to be assured that you are right for each other and you have to set boundaries towards other people who want to have a word in this relationship. This could be your parents, your friends, um, some other people, you know, everybody has to say something and um, you know, <laughs> it's like uh, when we do like football, soccer, right, um, then we have world championship and everyone uh, has to say something about how they play, what you should do better. Everybody is a trainer just, you know, for these few weeks. And um, I feel like a lot of people want to have a word here, but really you both have to set boundaries and tell them off, like, please, even though it's your mother, your father, your sister, it's like, it's none of your business. I'm sorry, maybe this is an issue for you now. Maybe you have, uh, maybe you are pretty fluid, like maybe you're both water signs and you don't have much of a boundary um, because I really feel like you come together just to establish boundaries, to learn how to put boundaries in place, okay? So um, I want to have some more details about this relationship, what it's for, or information in general. Imagine, okay, I feel that um, you, it will take a while until you will get together, okay? So you will meet each other and you're probably, um, Maybe you're even both, because I almost said it, maybe you're both in a relationship while you meet, okay? And um, you just have to, you, you fall in love probably instantly, you find each other very attractive, but you have obligations towards other people. And um, you have to lift these obligations first until you come, can come together. Meanwhile, you imagine you will be together right? You dream about being together. Um, maybe you even imagine your future together, but you can't come together, right? So um, I feel there is a lot of longing involved in this relationship and imagine how it could be. I really feel we have like very important uh, marriages here today. One more, thank you. And building blocks. 
Okay, but when you are together, so you have a longer period of time imagining things. But when you come together, you will finally be able to build the life you really dream of, okay? So there will be a period when you really have to fight for this connection. But after you come together, like the, you can build the life of your dreams. And like I said, you are each other's dream and you will have justice. You will be protected. This is divinely guided. If somebody tries to shame you, you have to put boundaries in place. Okay, this is divinely guided. It's not always, you know, divine guidance. It's not only roses and rainbows. Okay, sometimes you have to suffer. But, you know, this is meant to be. So, you know, put a firm boundary in place, okay? Okay, now I will take a look at each person. What is their role in the marriage, in the relationship? And, um, yeah, you can, uh, or you should be able to recognize yourself in one of them, okay? So I start with person number one. Oh. We have the star. Okay. Okay. Maybe this one of you is a person, like a public person. This might be the reason why you cannot just drop the other obligations. Maybe you're both married already or um, not necessarily married. I mean, <laughs> if you ask for your first marriage, um, then it's, you are not uh, married, but maybe you're in a relationship already, or you are uh, engaged or something like this. And then it's very difficult, especially if some of you is a person, um, like a public person, that could be like a, an actor or, a politician uh, could be even just in the community like a very very um, well-known part of the community okay so one of you is some kind of famous or well-known and that makes it more difficult even person one what is their role we have the Seven of Cups. Yes, this person is a highly, um, yeah, highly attractive, like desired. This person is highly desired. It could be like a, the most desired bachelor or some, maybe like a um, person one, maybe comes from a very established family. Person number one's roll yeah three of cups yeah this it could be like a person from a, like high society like a humanitarian family um, but they might be very wealthy and so this is why they um, like socialites this is what I get a socialite then we have the six of chalices we have that in every reading now and I feel like Person number one is the first person to recognize the other as their counterpart, okay? So, um, I really feel person number one is first attracted to person number two. We will see. I mean, maybe person number two will have the six of chalices too. Then we have the fool. Oh, in this reading, I will only read um, uprights, by the way. So, we have the fool. Um... Yeah, I feel this person is also the one um, who will initiate the relationship, okay? So I feel this person because um, they are very safe and secure. They grew up probably very safe and secure. They uh, feel very safe and secure and they feel like they are protected. And maybe I have the protected card right next to it and I feel they um, feel, okay, nothing can happen to me um like whatever i do whatever i decide um yeah but they um are the person to be the more happy-go-lucky person i would say so one more card for person number one oh 
why are they only falling on the floor? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. This person is really very attractive, very, um, very desired, um, probably wealthy, and um, yeah, they have like a lot of people having an eye on them, okay? But you are the one, or they, I mean, if you are this person, then you will pick person number two, or they will pick person number two. <laughs> so, person number two, what is their role in that relationship? Maybe they are also, um, person number one could be um, Aries, okay? We have the worlds, okay. So, um, yeah, you are the end and the beginning, okay? I feel like when you enter the room, then this person will fall for you hopelessly. Okay, so um, maybe you have ended just a relationship when you meet them and they are still in a relationship. I mean, of course, if you are person number two, I feel like person two has just ended a relationship and they probably don't even want a relationship. When you both meet, like person two doesn't want a relationship. They are recovering from a relationship that had ended from a cycle. It could also be that you meet after um, person two um, really ch uh, changed maybe jobs or changed locations because I see that um, a huge cycle just ended and I feel they are very just in recovery mode and not really interested in uh, a new relationship. But this could change very rapidly. <laughs> it could also be that um, this person is the more stable person of the two of you, like very grounded, very stable, down to earth, probably, um, I would say, born and raised in like the, maybe the lower or upper middle class, like, um, you know, not come not uh, from money. Person two didn't come from money, but um, everything was there. If you understand, you know, like there was a house, there was enough to eat, and everything was all right. But person two doesn't come from money. Okay, here we have the eight of cups and the high priestess. I feel. Person two resists this connection um, for the longest time. I feel um, person one, who probably is in a relationship, is the one who wants to initiate this relationship. But person two is the one who is the sensible one and um, really tries to escape this relationship or the, this feelings. Because I really feel that um, Person two is, of course, also attractive. They would wish for person number one, but they are sensible and they think like, no, this will not go well. What uh, probably is not the case. I mean, you marry after all, but um, I really feel that person two resists this um, relationship first. So one more card for person two, please. I mean, I have more uh, about the story before marriage for group number three. But I mean, maybe you have to recognize this person, okay? This is why I only get these cards. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, person two is very um, balanced. Like, uh, because person two is probably not really wealthy. They know how to save money. They know how to be balanced with money. Um, they could be, of course, a little bit like of a miser, like this card is the card of the miser, but I really feel this is more about uh, being sensible and not throwing the money out. What I get, like, even though it's not really in the cards, but I really get that from group, uh, from person one, because I really feel they are socialites and they have a lot of money and they spend a lot of money, okay? And I feel after you are married, this might change. I feel you balance each other out because one is more, um, one is more balanced and, um, 
sensible with money and the other wants to spend so I feel it's a balancing thing you know one person who now marries a rich person and probably is rich too they can loosen up a little and spend money for nice things for luxury things maybe even and um, yeah the other person learns how to save money good things so now last i will draw some cards from this deck i will ask about your feelings their feelings and the mutual feelings okay so what does person one feel towards person two what does person one feel towards person two We have Hator, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This is in, this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Yes, I really feel that, um, like I said, this person will teach you how to let go and how to spoil yourself. I feel this person wants to spoil and nurture you. Oh, I mean, of course. This could be like if, if person two is you, um, it could be vice versa. But um, yeah, if you are person one, it could be vice versa. But I really feel person one wants to spoil person two. And um, yeah, they want to show like the good things in life that you don't always have to save money. It's like now you're married with me, you can you can get that dress, you can get flesh, uh, fresh flowers, you know, you can get this bottle of champagne. It's fine. They want to spoil group number two or person number two. What is person two? feeling towards person one. What is person two feeling towards person one? Inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity. Yes, I really feel um, that uh, person two really is so very attracted to person one and um, because person one decided that person two will be their person they really feel like an, a goddess okay they really feel spoiled they feel um, yeah you know the inner goddess shines they can let go they can be the empress they don't uh, always have to hold back you know they can show um, the sensual side that's very very pretty like very very beautiful so how is the mutual feeling between group, uh, person one and two how is the mutual feeling focused intention this card also um, came out in every reading until now <laughs> And of course, in this um, reading, it totally makes sense because we have these obstacles that we have in the beginning, right? So I feel you have to be focused onto each other very much so that you will end up in this marriage. And after you marry, um, you marry, you will probably still have some obstacles, some adversity, and you have to focus your attention onto each other. So you will form like a very intense bond with each other, especially towards other people. And, um, but really I feel, I mean, Diana, I always see like as a very just and fair goddess. So I really feel that everything will be rewarded what you go through in the end. Okay, so thank you group number three um, for spending your time with me. Don't forget to, um, yeah, to comment so you can have maybe a free reading next month. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Last but not least, hi group number four. For the last reading, my cat Kazi came to visit. So that is good luck, I would say. 
and uh, if you miss the intro then please uh, go back because I do a giveaway this month because this channel will be uh, three years now this June and I will do a giveaway of three free readings so three free readings <laughs> So, um, if you want to know more, then please read um, the description box or you can go back and listen again um, and then you will know more, okay? So, but without further ado, let's start the reading. I want to know, how will you two get together? How will group four get together with their future spouse? Maybe you know them already. I don't know, that just hit me. I didn't say that for any other pile, so maybe you know them. I mean, pile number one uh, new. Oh, maybe this is maybe this is an ex. I hope you won't kill me. I mean, it could be an ex, but it could be also a friendship that develops into um, into a connection, like a love connection. Because we have give your relationship a chance. I already had that in group three, but there I really had a very different feeling. And I, it really popped into my head, you know them. So um, it might be a friend or an ex if you want them back, maybe. Or maybe, um, yeah, when they come back and really are sincere, you know, then maybe you are willing to work on the relationship. It, you know, it doesn't have to be an ex that you already have, but it could be a friend, you know. So, how will you get together, you and your spouse? That was almost, almost the, um, the dependence card, the, um, ah. Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> release your ex. Okay, so you have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So it could be that this is an ex and after you release them, they come back. Okay, that's worst case scenario. It could be though that you come, like that this person, um, and you, you know each other, you are in a relationship though, and after you have released your ex, you will get together. One more card, how you will get together. So if this is a friend, oh yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, best card ever. So this is true love, okay? Um, this is the romance of a lifetime. I feel um, if this is your ex, you will know and um, yeah, you know you would give them a, a second chance because you still love them, it's your true love and um, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe it was nothing toxic but it was circumstance or, you know, you never know. And um, then you will know that it is your ex and that he or she will come back because it's true love. If you know, no, I don't want to have anything to do with my ex, then it's probably someone else, but you are already acquainted with, okay? And they are waiting for you to release your ex, okay? Because they already have their eye on you, okay? So um, you will know what resonates for you. Now I want to ask, like the purpose of this connection, what is the purpose of this connection and this marriage? Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Okay, I mean that goes very well with the true love card, I feel. So um, maybe this is really for you to, um, to understand what is best for you. Okay, maybe you are clinging to an ex that was really toxic. It was the, um, I mean, it almost turned the, um, what's the name of this card? Uh, maybe I find it <laughs> quickly, I don't know. Um, I just saw it turn and it turned back. So maybe you had 
um, a toxic relationship and you are still clinging like your energy is still clinging to that toxic um, relationship where is it where is it uh, okay I, I don't find it hmm maybe it's not it doesn't want to come forward codependency yeah the codependency card uh, flipped for a second and maybe you came out of a codependent relationship and this is for you to first of all I feel it's like um, a reward for the things you went through and second of all it's for you so that you understand what is good for you sometimes we pick the things that are not good for us because it's the thing that we know maybe when we had a toxic um, home where we grew up in and then we choose toxic people and I feel this is someone very different than um, the people you have met So, what is the purpose of this relationship and marriage? Animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. So you could meet um, with working through animals or you could really have like a purpose with animals together so you could maybe do a shelter for animals or you are advocates for animal rights um, I mean there are a lot of things that you could do or you could just like adopt a lot of animals you know maybe um, you decide against children and so you have a lot of animals from shelters and they have a beautiful life at your home so um, I feel um, you know like you're probably both huge animal lovers and this is what you will do together in your lifetime this is the purpose okay so um, give me please the feeling the overall feeling of this relationship in marriage the overall feeling of this marriage we have she who flies, volaris, dare do reach. Okay, yeah, I really feel that you both have a purpose that is pretty bold together. And um, like I said, maybe you um, fight for animal rights. And that's something that um, yeah, you need like really, yeah, you need Coronas for that, okay? You need some balls <laughs> for that. Because maybe you don't even know what you're really doing when you start. And yeah, you just dare, you just do it, I feel, okay? Then we have She Who Guides, Maputla, New Path Guide Renewal. Oh, very nice. So I feel um, you probably don't even believe me right now. Um, that you can do something like this okay because I really feel um, when you are younger then you would never see yourself as an advocate or um, like an environmental advocate it could be that you fight for um, for the rainforest I just that popped into my head like and like oh if you fight for the rainforest like it could be really dangerous um, because there are people with power behind that and I really feel that this is something like what you do what your purpose is um, although yeah I mean but it's connected right um, I feel like with your person you uh, explore things that you have never thought would be possible like I feel you have been told you are stupid you are um, you are worth nothing you I mean this is getting dark I'm sorry but like I really feel that people try to hold you small and with that person you will see a side of you that you have never dreamt of that you are strong that you are smart that you can shift things around 
I really feel like this person will bring out all these beautiful things in you, okay? And you also, um, you will do the same for your person, okay? Oh my gosh, like really, I really love these readings. They are so beautiful and so amazing. And I never thought, I didn't expect all these beautiful things coming out today. It's amazing. Okay, um, now I want to know the purpose. Oh, okay. I want to, yeah, warrior woman. Sorry, I just finished the sentence. This is the purpose um, you have on the world, okay? Like this, the uh, impact on the world. So we have warrior woman. Have you answered the deepest calling? Just like I said, you, you are both warriors for the world. Yeah, it really depends like on what you will do. Um, I really see something that has to do with animals, for environment, um, for um, maybe natives. So if it's with people, because I really um, had rainforest in my head. So maybe for um, natives in the rainforest that you really fight for a cause here. And one more, please. What is the impact on the world? Um, it could be, um, by the way, also something not for the world, but for your own community. So it could be that you maybe fight for um, a forest that is about to, um, yeah, to made into a, a shopping mall or something, and then you will go ballistic <laughs> with your husband or your wife. And um, you can really change that, okay? So, what is the impact on the world or your surroundings? Please, one more card, spirit. Okay, so two, it's two. We have Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Yeah, I feel this is your mission on earth, what you can... Uh, like put into reality with your partner here and dance with life. Do something to change your energy. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Like this, um, like you will show other people like what you're made of, okay? Like nobody would have expected that when you were young, like all the people in your family and your surroundings, your ex, no one would have thought that that is in you, that the warrior woman is in you. But this is your destiny. This is your destiny to grow beyond your own limits, okay? With your partner here. Your, you and your partner, you grow together. You Maybe you're dancing. Uh, like maybe this is a hobby of yours, like how you, um, how you fill your cup back again. You dance with each other. Maybe you do some salsa or something. Oh my gosh, like, I get chills. Like I get chills all the time in these readings. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, and I will ask now for more details about this relationship and this marriage. I feel like all the marriages, everyone that watches this reading has really a higher purpose in their marriage. Give me more details about this marriage, please. Your guides doesn't want to spo spoil a surprise, I feel, because it's very hard to get information. Okay. <laughs> we have go the distance and observer. Okay. I really feel that you watch some uh, injustice and one day you decide, you, you and your partner, your spouse decide like, I will not take that any longer. Like you will observe like maybe animal cruelty or like, um, yeah, you know, like that all the forests and 
all the trees are put down for shopping malls and for houses and stuff and you will just say like no I don't want to look at this anymore I cannot live with myself if I don't do anything and then you start um, yeah doing something go the distance that you start going the distance you start changing lives this is amazing group number four really really amazing like I will uh, now take a look at each person so I will see um, what role each person has in your relationship so this is a little bit more detailed than the overall view what we just did oh. uh, and I will do only uprights for this reading so we have the seven of wands yeah I feel one person is very guarded um, uh, if you know like the um, the Rider Smith deck, then there is a person standing on a hill guarding the heart and having a lot of opponents, like fighting against a lot of opponents. Like I feel one of you is more ready to fight than the other. So um, I don't know who this is. Is this you or is this your person, your partner? We will see more like we have the king of chalices so um this is masculine energy energy but it doesn't have to be a man so this could also be you if you are a woman but um the king of chalices is very rooted in their emotions you know they have emotions but they will not let their emotions affect them okay so um, they have emotions and they will just let them pass by they feel them they greet them and then they let them pass by so they are not in balance the opposite actually very 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 balanced and um, yeah uh, very uh, mature in their emotions Sorry, I didn't drink enough today. <laughs> so what is person one's role in that marriage? So we have the king of wands and the king of pentacles. Three kings already. Oh my gosh. Like they, I mean, we have a lot of masculine energy. So this person is probably representing um, the more masculine energy um, but yeah we all have masculine energy but this person is probably the more um, uh, active the active part okay so it doesn't have to be like this is the man the other is the woman but this person is the more active part we have three kings so um, we have already water fire and um, earth okay so this person, uh, yeah, just knows how to navigate the real world, okay? They know how to navigate the emotions. They know how to navigate their passions. So they probably have already a job that they really, um, that really fulfills them. Um, or like they will have it when, um, when, when you are together. Um, I really feel everything plays into into each other you know they have these emotions they feel the emotions so they already know like this will make me happy they do it and it makes them happy and i feel they are also very good with money they are wealthy they make good money out of their job um, what they really um do well and they really love and um, i really feel they are very warm people very very warm and inviting they do a lot they uh, probably they are um, like handymen too they can fix a lot of things around the house or do the garden or stuff like I really see that and we have the ten of swords okay so they have seen um, like the yeah the worst also i really feel this is how they grew um into their role here okay because they also come from uh, a home that probably was very cool to them 
or they came out of a situation that was very very cruel and this is maybe why they had to uh, guard their heart now maybe they will guard their heart in the beginning also but you will soon see i mean if that's not you if that's your partner then you will soon see that there is a lot behind that surface okay and then we have the moon okay so they could be a pisces they could have a lot of water placements and this is why um you know a lot of water signs have to guard themselves because they are very emotional oh, by the way the six of cups is on the end of the deck and um I really feel that they are deeply emotional. They feel that, but they learn throughout their life that they only have the chance to be happy when they feel their emotions. And they go deep, they feel their emotions, and then they let them pass. And this is how they grew into kings. I mean, we have three kings. So this person is really mature, okay? So let's see what person two um yeah what is their role we have the king of pentacles another king yeah we have king of pentacles here so i feel you might um see each other like you might see yourself in each other okay i feel you might have very similar values okay and you are a, a person too, is a very, very hard worker, okay? I feel um, that person too might be a little bit of a workaholic, but um, yeah, they want to build the life for their loved ones. And we have the world. So um, I feel person two is uh, someone who maybe changed jobs, quite a bit I feel person one is more stable and sticks to one job because they find the job they love right away but um, I feel um, person two might change jobs quite a bit because they don't uh, whether they don't know really what they want to do in life or they just want to do so many things I, I rather get that I feel they want to do so many things because they actually really like to work Ugh. then we have the two of swords so um, I feel this uh, person too can be a little bit stubborn here okay so um, I feel they do what they want <laughs> So a lot, not a lot of people can talk sense into them, okay? I mean, it doesn't have to be um, not sensible, but um, if they have something in their head, they will do it. And um, yeah, it's really hard for other people to, um, yeah, to, to uh, uh, talk them out of something. You know, if they say like, I want to build a shed in the garden and everyone is like, no, please don't do that. Like, and I don't know, you're not really, you don't even know how to do woodwork. And then this person says, I will, I will read books. I, I look it up on YouTube and they just start and it will probably be a success. I have to say, I really feel um, that they are pretty successful, even though they're not the most stable people. But yeah, they might be a little bit stubborn. And then we have the King of Swords again, another king. So I really feel you're both very mature or you mature together very beautifully, okay? This person is also very intelligent, um, more leaning more towards the logical side. I feel um, person number two is more impulsive. Person number one is more emotional, but um, grounded and stable on the other side. But um, person two is more impulsive. Doing things, um, maybe, I mean, King of Swords is actually very logical, but I feel person two does things also uh, in spite of logic. And still it works out. That's the magical thing. 
And one last card, please, for person two. Thank you. The Page of Rods, yeah. I feel, um, yeah, they person two loves adventure. This is maybe why they change so much, because they really like to see the world. Um, maybe they also change locations a lot. And person one is like, oh, do we have to move again? Okay, you know, <laughs> because like, it's just like, the emotion flows through person number one and they just say like they see you know they are very sensible and they see I cannot talk um, person two out of that anyway okay so yeah okay let's let's move to Italy it's fine okay so <laughs> only if um, you have really really good arguments you try even to argue okay because you know person two probably does what they want anyways okay and they probably be successful oh by the way we have the chariot on the uh, bottom of the deck so yeah i feel um person two has a lot of wanderlust and um sense of adventure okay so now to close the reading i want to see what your feelings are you know like I want to know what the feelings from person one to person two is and vice versa and what the mutual feelings are here. So what does person one feel towards person two? What does person one feel towards person two? We have Hathor. Oh, again, group number three had that too. Also person one. Um, yeah, I feel like person one is a very nurturing person. Okay, so um, because person one, I feel is pretty calm and uh, more in, not in the head, but more with themselves. I feel they are very, um, yeah, they are okay with being alone, you know? They like to do that, to read, to be, um, to, you, they're introverts, you could say, you know? They like their own company, they're very um, humble. I get this feeling, really, from person one. And I feel, um, I mean, Hato, she is the mother goddess, you know? She is nurturing everyone with, with her milk. So um, I really feel that Person one really loves to nurture person two. I feel, you know, if I just said um, the anecdote, <laughs> I told you the anecdote, I really feel they have a sense of amusement when um, person two does all these weird things and person one is just like amused, you know, <laughs> just like, okay, let's see what comes out of that. You know? <laughs> Uh, what does person two feel towards person one? I hope the camera will not cut out. Oh, okay, we have two. That's that's a first. But take a look. We have Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. Have faith what your prayers have been that sorry have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. And then we have Irene. Peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully, okay? Oh, that's so beautiful. I get chills again. Oh, you know, your per like person two is really the same. Like person two loves person one so much. They want to see person one thrive. They want to, same, they want to nurture person one. They want to see person one happy, at peace and um, living their best life really so and um, this is there is so much love in this relationship really so much love I wouldn't wonder if something with love comes out for the mutual feeling what is the mutual feeling between person one and person two? Oh my god this is the this card came out for every group for every single group, we have Diana, focused intention. You are destined. I can say, like, you all are destined to be with each other. You, you are very 
bonding like you have a very strong bond every group you sorry the camera cut out so you have a very strong bond with your partner this is really divinely guided and it will grow strong so strong like yeah i'm i'm so yeah i'm i'm baffled really i i didn't expect that uh, for anyone to come out like so beautifully and uh i'm really happy that it turned out that well okay uh group number four i will end your reading here uh don't forget the giveaway and uh, i hope i will see you soon bye